What's up guys, I'm Josh Mosman and welcome to This Week in MXA presented by O'Neill Racing. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is episode number 101. Last week's episode number 100, we released an epic video of me flying an F-16 fighter jet. If you haven't seen it, check it out after this video. But first, we are gonna talk about the 2023 Yamaha YZ450F. I also have a huge confession to make about a big mistake that I made about six months ago. Stay tuned for that in this video. Also, we talk about Day in the Dirt, happened this past weekend at Glen Helen, and more, let's dive into it. The 2023 Yamaha YZ450F is the most highly anticipated bike of the new model season. Everybody is asking us what it's like, and uh, we we already released our tested video on this bike from the first uh, day of riding it back in Cairo, Georgia at the Star Racing Yamaha Goat Farm. But still, people are wondering, what's it like here on a rough track? What's it like compared to the other 450s in the class? We finally got it back here. We're finally getting to put lots of hours on this motorcycle. We've had a lot of test riders riding it already, and it's a lot of fun. But uh, before we can give it our stamp of approval and line up all the seven bikes for the MXA's 23 450 shootout, out. We still have a little more time to learn all the details about this bike. So John Ortner, he is a motocross action test rider and he's also a photographer and a good friend of MXA. He shot a lot of photos for our website and for our magazine. And uh, we've also had Dennis Stapleton riding this bike. I've been riding the bike, Brian Medeiros, along with a long list of other vet test riders and other guys we've uh, thrown on it to check it out as well. So let's hear from John Ortner, a loyal Yamaha 450 owner, what he thinks about the new bike. So I just rode the the 22 and the 23 and the 22 and the 23 going back and forth and I just did five hot laps on the 23 and I feel like I can't do that on my 22. Really? The, the bike will come right over into the corner and if you come in too hot and you can't quite hit that inside line, like now instantly I'm spoiled. Yeah. I still can pop to the outside and still have two or three options even from the outside coming in. It reminds me of that Rockstar Edition uh, Husky I raced not long ago. Really? It turned where I want it to. Nice. And the thing that I didn't notice until this last moto is when you come, you know you get to that point where you're over revving, you, you don't want to shift because it's not, there's not that time. Yeah. That little bit of over rev is significant on, on, a, on a lap time and efficiency because then you don't have to go through that next step up and that next step down to come out of the hole. So it made my cornering transition much smoother. Nice. So I'm fired up. The width, the weight, and the turning bias yep. is, is such a sensational feeling for a Yamaha guy. And you've been a Yamaha guy for how long? How many how many Yamahas have you owned? I mean, well, I've been on the new generation. <laughs> well, I go back to the 70s and then the 80s, 90s, and then I have Kawasaki Hondas, all of them. And then since 2010, I've been on Yamaha. Wow, so you're and a Yamaha 450 guy. I'm a Yamaha 450 guy since 2010 till right now. And the 2022 was the best effort ever. I love it. Um, I won a couple uh, championships in my age group. Um, couldn't speak highly enough of it. But the things that I did have a challenge with, the weight, the width, it's, it's addressed. Nice. And man, am I excited about that. All right, good stuff. Next up, we got some clips from Day in the Dirt this past weekend. MXA's Trevor Nelson was there with his video camera and photo camera capturing all of the action. Day in the Dirt, it is a lot of fun. I wasn't there this year. I was uh, on vacation in Florida for Thanksgiving with family, but Trevor Nelson captured the action and uh, he got some cool stuff from there. Let's hear what Trevor Nelson got from Day in the Dirt. What's up guys? It's me, Max Mandel. We're out here at Glen Helen. Year 25, Day in the Dirt, baby! <laughs> This is where everyone lines up. I'm on the sixth row, put 250B last, behind the old dudes. Uh, gonna go out, try not to run into anybody, no traffic, have some fun. Yeah, 
Moto action. <laughs> Alright, Brock. So today, the goal is going to be what? Hole shots. Hole shot. Hole shot from six row. Hole shot from the six row, come back, pass five rows, and uh, finish the day on top. Don't uh, get last. What? Don't get last. Oh yeah, don't get last. Stay off the ground. Stay off the ground. Um, basically anyone ahead of me, just pass them, and then if they're behind me, just don't let them pass me. So. My name is Ryan Ritter. We are at Day in the Dirt 25. This is the best event of the year. This is my third year in a row. I did one down south. This is my third one here. I don't know how many of these guys are actually ready to race after the barn party last night. I lay low on the drinking, so I'm ready to go, but we'll see what happens. What up, everyone? My name's Kyle. We're here at Day in the Dirt 25. We're lined up for Moto Agogo, -Go, which is a two-person team race. The strategy for this one is just to survive. The track's pretty brutal, but um, I think we'll make it through it. Okay, so my strategy today is everyone who was drinking last night and is super hungover, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat them today because they're not going to be able to compete because they're just going to be so hungover. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to excel today. Today is my day. Name's Stormhawk, and I'm out here ripping today, having a great time. Hi, my name is Amari Arnold, and I'm out here at Day in the Dirt ripping it up. Hi, my name is Finnegan Marklin. We're out here at Day in the Dirt, um, and it's fun. That's all you get? That was wild. Hi, I'm Mark Tilly, uh, Dirt Bike Magazine, Motocross Action. We're at Day in the Dirt. This is my son, my oldest son, Jacob Tilly. He's uh, getting to race this event for the first time this year. Uh, so he's racing, we're doing some team races and then some mini races, one race each day and then a team race each day. So, uh, so far we're having lots of fun. Um, I can't really complain, I've, I've been doing pretty good. So he's been doing really good. So how's it been so far? Track has been really fun. Um, normally our race is in the morning, so the track's really smooth. I can just hold it pinned. So you're, you're liking your first day in the dirt experience? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, there you have it. We're having fun. We have friends, uh, the DeLucas are here. The, you see the Grants here. You see the Tryons here. It's, it's kind of fun. It's, if you come to this event just for racing, you're coming to the event for the wrong reason. This is just a fun party cut type of atmosphere that's uh, family friendly as well. So see you next year. It's going to be an attempt to race a motorcycle um, for as long as I can really, but it'll be mostly riding around, <laughs> pretty much. How long do you think they're going to have you go out there? Uh, I heard two hours, but I don't know how true that is, so last year it was an hour and a half, so we'll see, see how it goes. I just try to survive. Plate. So we're on the 501F, 501S, We've got the dealer plate still on there, blinkers, brake light, headlight, horn, we're out here on the street legal bike, just having fun. I'm out of tear off, I'm out of gas, I'm tired, we're all tired, we're all here waiting. So uh, it's a coup de gras, me and Brakey are in the pro pit, just making sure everyone's doing okay. And uh, keeping things safe around here. So so, so good. Yeah, so we brought snacks. Yeah, we got a, we got some goldfish in here. So keeping keeping Frankie fed is important. Yeah. And, uh, and everyone's behaving mostly. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good time. My name is Kayla Giorgio, and day in the dirt's definitely something different. Um, the people, everyone's just like smiling and joking. It's like a giant family here. You really can't beat the feel. It's different than like normal races. Everyone's chill. Everyone's just out here to have a good time, taking each other out at times. Um, and the family, just the whole vibe, the walkway, what Fast House and Red Bull does here is just, you can't beat this. It's so cool. So definitely a yearly 
a yearly thing for sure. <laughs> Next up, we have a couple clips from Kuwait where MXA's Dennis Stapleton was over there racing a GP style off-road endurance race on a deserted Kuwaiti island that was uh, left over after the war and not really cleaned up or picked up at all. So he had a wild time over there. It was a cool event where they actually started on a boat, on a ferry, and once the boat came to the beach, they dropped it down, waved the green flag, and the race was off. Uh, they rode through some deserted buildings and just uh, some wild stuff over there. They also had a gnarly windstorm uh, that Dennis showed us videos of. So good times for Dennis. He's ridden in more countries than most people can name, and uh, we're proud to have him flying the MXA flag wherever he goes. Next up, I have a big confession to make for you guys. This one uh, will go back to where most people probably don't even remember at the front forefront of their minds, unless you're a Honda guy. Um, but I raced the Fox Raceway National, the first national of the summer. I raced it on a Honda 450. I also raced the next weekend on a Cowie 450 at Hangtown. I did a Husky at Washougal and a KTM at the second Paul around the season finale. But if you guys watched our first video, you might remember that my original bike blew up in practice and I had to get a spare bike to race for the Moto 1 and Moto 2. Well, turns out it was my fault. Uh, everybody was asking lots of questions, uh, what happened to the CRF 450? <laughs> and uh, that was our works edition bike. We ended up uh, sticking a valve and it was all my fault. So huge confession, I told Honda that I would uh, admit it on this week in MXA and yep I did it I put the air filter the oil filter in backwards I changed the oil added a clutch in the bike and did you know graphics and lots of other things uh, the day before the race and or maybe maybe Thursday before the race long story short it was my fault I put the oil filter in backwards and uh, yeah bummer deal embarrassing but I can't uh, can't give Honda the blame for that because it was all my fault so there we have it Lesson learned. Next up, I also wanted to talk about the Panic Rev Christian Motocross Camp coming up in two and a half weeks at Lake Elsinore. I'll be there as one of the trainers. Really excited to be there for that. It's three days in a row, December 19, 20, and 21. Great training, great technique work. We got chapel service in the evenings, camp games, and just overall a fun event of riding your motorcycle. So come hang out with us. Um, check out more at camprev.com or check out Panic Rev on Instagram, or you can send me a message on Instagram about it as well. And uh, hope to see you there. All right, guys, that's it for episode number 101. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you in the next video.